Today in the Smuggler's Room, we are rolling out a new series as promised. Today is the first episode of Can You Star Wars This? That's coming up. What's up, you awesome geeks? I'm Brian, and welcome to the Smuggler's Room. This week, this chubby geek is giving you the first episode of Can You Star Wars This? and a challenge sent to us by our good friend, Jason York. We will be peppering in this series of ridiculous builds throughout the year, and we want you to challenge us with your Star Wars object of choice. It can be anything from a blender to a welding helmet, and yes, both of those have already been suggested. So if you have an idea for an object that you want us to Star Warsify, then put it in the comments below, and periodically we're gonna pull from that list to create something truly ridiculous. For today's build, we are going to kick this off by converting a Fallout 4 Pip-Boy Edition crate. This amazing Pip-Boy collector's piece came in a super cool crate that Jason was kind enough to not only suggest, but he also sent us one. Jason is a member of our loyal Patreon community and a longtime friend of the channel. We can't thank you enough. So what do you do with a Pip-Boy crate? Let's take a look. You can see where I'm going with this, right? When I saw the crate, I saw this as the perfect opportunity to create the ultimate in Carillion beverage containment. In my mind, the drink of choice for a smuggler would be none other than high quality Carillion bourbon. Maybe to make a fashionably only one Kenobi, or simply pour a small amount with a dash of water to dilute the finely crafted adult beverage. Either way, can't you see the master of all smugglers, Han Solo, with his feet up on the console, Berman in hand, as he sits back and just flies casual. His hairy co-pilot obviously doing the flying because we don't drink in hyperspace around here. But nonetheless, a smuggler of great taste would only purchase his bourbon from the Karelia Shipyards Distillery, as they are in a class all their own. The best grains from the southern plains of Dantooine, yeast strains cultivated in the swamps of Dagobah, and fermented in abandoned coolant coils stolen from the shipyards run by the Empire. Yes, a finely crafted spirit deserves a vessel of equal quality, and that's where we come in. Now to achieve this feat of galactic luxury, we leaned on our friendly Glowforge, the maker of lasers that unlike the stormtroopers of the Empire, actually shoot with precision. This process requires us to create some custom graphics that will help showcase both the beloved nectar of Karelia and also the Amazonian purchased glassware we have chosen.
Of course, no self-respecting smuggler would transport their beverage of choice in a pristine crate. So as the makers of all things weathered and filthy, we at the smugglers room are applying that age-old technique of silver paint, masking fluid, and then a nice touch of water-based oiled paint to give this container that worn weathered look we are all familiar with. Greasy, dirty, beautiful. Oh, and yes, yes, you guessed it, my friends. Greeblies. You know, I had to say it at least once. Yes, my geeked out friends, of course, the interior of our crate simply requires that we elevate our game and provide a luxury aspect that's worthy of the contents. Enter the black carbon fiber vinyl wrap. This cargo box lining adds the next level of sophistication you need to assure everyone in the galaxy that yes, you do shoot first, every time. coming right i mean we simply can't have a crate with this level of sophistication and not the proper amount of illumination it just wouldn't be proper an led strip installed in the correct position will give the laser engraved surface as well as your glassware the perfect amount of sparkle letting the galaxy know that you are a smuggler who takes this shit serious
Time to raise your Amazonian glassware to a whole new level. What kind of ridiculous project would this be if we just dropped our glassware in a box with so much as a consideration to its presentation? We're not Gungans after all, we're a not so high class of builders of something from nothing. No, we need additional customization here my friends. What we need is etching. Simple yet totally satisfying armor etching that will give this project that last bit of genuine authenticity that it deserves. What kind of authenticity you ask? I have no idea. I just used that word because it sounded impressive and seemed to flow with this ridiculous narrative that I'm doing in this low voice because the music selected by my amazing wife and partner called for it. Now where was I? Oh yeah, the glass etching. So if you are in the uninitiated realm of glass etching, fear not, the Smuggler's Room has you covered. You'll find a link above and below in the description for an episode covering this very thing. Also, all the tools you need will be included in Amazon affiliate links below that will cost you no additional money, but will help support the channel. Now my friends, there you go, a super sophisticated smuggler's crate to store your finely crafted adult beverage in while you are traveling the galaxy. It's time now for you to get out there and convert your own, <clears throat> sorry, convert your own everyday object into something Star Wars or whatever you would like, as long as you're building something out of nothing. I'll tell you, no matter how often you try to be careful and how meticulous you try to be when making these projects, inevitably, you're gonna mess up. This plexiglass piece that I glued on the Greeblies on both sides, I've got it backwards. 
So I've got to recut the entire plexiglass, make new greeblies, spray new greeblies, and then we can finish this off. It happens.